Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk through this, the Sega 12K from Tokyo Marui, gas blowback, semi-automatic shotgun. I can't say enough good things about this, so I'm going to give you guys a quick overview, my thoughts, uh, why I love it, what I think could be done better, and hopefully you guys find this of value. Now, I got this probably about three months ago. I think TM was saying they were going to release it about two years ago. Uh, probably about six months ago, people started getting these. Um, I really wanted one, so I actually imported it from Hong Kong. Had to pay a lot of money to do that and shipping, but I'm really glad that I did. Um, it is absolutely amazing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start talking about why. I'm not just going to kind of keep talking about why. And I just love it because obviously that's not a much value to you guys. So um, it is, as I said, gas blowback. Um, I actually at the moment, I am using a TMMWS Mark 18 as my primary. And I've really gone down the gas blowback rabbit hole. Uh, I got that. I kind of was like, this is awesome. I love recoil. And it's very, very hard for me now to use an AEG. Now, I think if I was using kind of one of the super high speed ones indoors, uh, maybe the value is in that, but when I'm playing, I do like some immersion and actually just feeling the recoil for me is a lot of value in that. So I'm basically using my Mark 18 most of the time. Uh, I actually do have a TM NGRS, you know, uh, next generation recoil shock which I also love, but the recoil is not the same. It gives you the practicality of using mid-cap mags and not having to do the 30 round mags that you get with a, an MWS or a, a normal kind of uh, gas blowback AR platform, but it's not the same recoil. So um, what I've actually started doing, and actually I'll show you guys this here now, this is a HPA adapter for this. So what you can do is you can plug this into the TM Sega and effectively turn this into an HPA recoil gun. I haven't actually put this in before, it's brand new. So I'll try and click that in for you guys there. So there it is, you can see that there. Uh, you can put in one of the um, kind of regular M4 mags. Uh, I actually use the EPM1 minis because uh, they are, you know, large capacity. You can put a lot of BBs in there. Now I can't get it out. That's brand new. So that's why I was doing that. It's from Tap Airsoft. Um, so I will run that. And that obviously means that I have almost unlimited gas because I've got a tank on my back. I don't like the line, but it does allow me to do that. And I can just run tons of uh, basically M4 mags, which are, you know, 150, 200 round capacity. So it turns this into a completely usable outdoor, um, you know, AEG equivalent, but I get the recoil in it. So that's what I'm doing when I'm playing outside. Now, I didn't actually do that with this uh, when I've played recently. I played at a place called Battle Labs, which is an indoor uh, field in Ontario, California. It is. It was my first experience there and it was awesome. I really, really liked it. And uh, this thing was incredible. Um, indoor, it is something which I just haven't really used before or seen. And I... Like I was the only guy there. I had people coming up to me saying, what is that? That's so awesome, especially when they heard it. This thing is so loud and it recoils so hard that uh, it's just a joy to use. And you get some eliminations with this. You get some guys out of the game. It's so satisfying. So um, I couldn't really recommend this highly enough yet, but I have done some upgrades to it. And another thing I do love about this thing is you can upgrade it in a lot of ways. Parts are coming out more and more. You know, the MWS AR platform, that has obviously got a ton of upgrades because it's been around for a while. The high capper, you know, need I say more about the high capper? You can do absolutely everything to that thing. So this is, I think, going to be along those lines. And what I've done to this, just so you know, this isn't going to be how you get it. Uh, this is a shorter barrel. So normally the barrel is kind of about to here. And I would say if you get one and you want to use this indoors or you want to use it more CQB, uh, definitely worth doing. Um, the inner barrels, and there's three of them, because this fires three rounds at a time, are up to this level. So even when you've got the longer barrel, there's no real point in it. It does look very cool, but uh, for me, I like the look of this more. It's kind of that stubby version, which I just think is more practical. It just looks cooler to me. Uh, but I would say, you know, my advice would be to do that if you can. The other thing that I've done internally uh, is I've put a harder recoil spring in there. So it's about 115% recoil. So it gives me more kick and I put a heavier weight in there. Again, just gives more recoil. I mean, this thing recoils really hard anyway, but if you really want to do that, you know, 
it, it does probably give you a little bit more feel to it. I, I can't say that I'm like, wow, it's a massive difference, but it's hard to fire one than the other without taking the internals out. Um, it comes with a sight mount here. So the standard kind of AK rail where you can just run kind of anything you want from it. Uh, obviously, I've kind of got a short Picatinny rail right here, and I've got a red dot sight on here. And if I can show you guys what that looks like, uh, if I turn it on, probably it might help. Um, there we go. You can see that there. And what I really love about this site is you can probably tell I pro I wouldn't run that on an AR uh, because the actual site, the um, MOA on it and the actual size of it is huge. But with a shotgun, it works really well because you've got a spread. And so if I just aim this in the general direction of the person I'm trying to shoot at, it really uh, is just great. You know, it's not like, oh wait, I need to be specific on this because you've got three BBs and there's a spread. Now, one thing, another thing I would say about this is the accuracy is very good. Um, I know Tokyo Marui are known for their quality and this probably 200, 300 foot, the grouping is, is a good size. It's enough spread where it's gonna be your kind of man-shaped target, but it is, uh, not a massive spread, you know, you're not wanting it to go everywhere and miss. So it's it's really, really uh, a usable thing at range, which I didn't expect when I got this. Uh, the other thing is it has hop up in each of the different barrels, but it's not adjustable. So it's not like you can be like, hey, I want this to get more range or I'd like it to go further or just kind of be a closer range thing. I don't know why you do that, but you basically can not change the hop up. For me, it's not a big issue. Um, I found that I use 0.32 BBs. That's what I use for everything. And so therefore this uh, is perfect with those. The 0.32s I think is the best that you can probably get from what I've heard from other people. And um, when I've used it, the hop up's perfect. It does drop off at the end, but 0.32s are great. When I played with this indoors, the max BB weight you can use is 0.25. Now, I, you're not shooting at range indoor, so I didn't notice any difference because I'm not firing at those 200, 300 foot rate, um, ranges, but it worked perfectly with that. And when they chronoed it, I believe it was just under 300 FPS. So at that field, if you're under 300 FPS, you have no minimum engagement distance. Uh, you know, if you're over 300, I believe it's five feet. If you're over 350, uh, it is 10 feet. Maybe over at 400, it's 15 feet. Uh, don't take my word for it. That's around what it is. But with a shotgun, I think it's amazing not having an engagement distance. You can come around a corner and you're not having to do bang, bang. You're just like, right, poof, I've got you, you're out. Um, and obviously with the shorter barrel, it makes it a lot easier. Um, I love, as I said, this red dot sight. I've got it on there. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, the iron sights are here and kind of your AK style. You know, it's a bit of a weird iron sight. I never used to be an AK guy. I don't think I am. Uh, but I have to say this has converted me a little bit. Now, one thing I would say about having this rail on here is that this is great, this stock, because you can fold it. And so if you're transporting it, you know, you can actually fold it in. And normally that would click into a latch. Now, obviously, when you've got this in the way, you can't do that. I think that there are some other upgrades that people are bringing out and that I've ordered, actually, which is an M-Lock uh, handguard here so that I can run a flashlight on it. I think this with a flashlight, you know, strobe or whatever it's going to be, is going to be absolutely immense. Uh, and I think there are some now dust covers that you can get where they've got Picatinny on the top. So obviously you're not putting this in the way. So I'm not a big, I, I don't really mind about it. Um, I don't think I'm going to fold it up very much. You know, in game, the recoil on it, which I'll show you in a minute, is so great that actually holding it, kind of hip firing it, I don't think it's something I'm going to do. Uh, you can also get Picatinny attachments for this now. So you can put on different kinds of stocks. If you want a more AR stock, something retractable, you can do that as well. So this is really per, uh, customizable. Um, so I'm, I'm a big fan of what you're going to be able to do with it, what you already can do with it. And the fact that I can run at HPA for me is great. This site, you couldn't do HPA, really didn't matter to me. These mags, I think are really cool. Uh, they're big, so if you're running quite short uh, or kind of 
you know, compact mag pouches, you may want to think about it and get something slightly bigger. Uh, this is fitting into my Haley Strategic mag pouches, the quick draw ones. Uh, it's, a, it's tight, but they fit. And so I can run the three across my front. When I was playing um, on Friday, uh, it's not as fast to pull out, but actually it, it's not slow. Uh, I like the size of them because actually you can kind of get your ha hand around it and it's pretty easy to seat. Although that is something I've heard from other YouTubers, other people who've tried this, is they don't like how the magazine actually sits in the magwell. It's kind of your AK style with the hook and press, but uh, a lot of people find it a lot more difficult. I did to start with, but I do think that if you play around with this, not only do you get the muscle memory, but the actual mags kind of wear down a bit in the right places and your mag well kind of frees up a bit. So when I've been doing it, uh, I find it quite easy. You need to make sure it sits and it kind of clicks in because I've had it a few times where it's dropped. Uh, again, because it's a plastic kind of mag, it's not like dropping a metal mag and gas in a gas blowback nestle mag where you're like oh god just so i've said that now i can't actually get it in uh you're not like oh god you know i've, I've broken the mag or you hear that hissing i'm sure that can happen but uh i haven't had that i have dropped the mag a couple of times another feature that i really like on this is you have this slide here so you can see there you've actually got a bar that blocks the valve so when the mag is empty that is going to be blocked which allows uh the sega to do the ak click of death you know it's not having bolt lock back but you'll hear a click when you pull the trigger and therefore you know the mag's empty so you put a mag in you re rack it so that's what does that however there is this little switch here or this little thing you can press and that drops that bar down if i show you properly that drops that bar down which means that you can actually dry fire this um, so if you're not wanting to actually play bbs or you're just or, uh, airsoft or you're with your friends and you just want to fire it in the garden and show them the recoil you can do that uh, if you're using it as a movie prop again something you can do uh, so you know, I think that's a really good feature. It's mag dependent, so you can do it mag per mag. It's not just like, wait, I need to try and find a switch inside the actual uh, replica and then switch it. Another thing actually as well, which I haven't figured out, but apparently there's a point where you can put the fire selector here, which allows it to fire full auto. Now, I'm not really that into it. I mean, if it's a 45 round mag, you've got 15, 15 trigger pulls because it's firing three at a time. I don't really want to full auto it, but I think that's obviously very cool if you can do that. Uh, so that's another thing just to kind of think, if I'm gonna buy this, you actually can apparently, and I haven't done it, made it full auto. Um, I've got like a, a two point sling here, kind of with a fast release so I can make it bigger or smaller. Um, it's your AK style, you know, you can kind of attach it here and attach it um, kind of on these ring pulls, which is your standard AK. AK uh, mag um, pistol grip, which I like, it's small, but actually it kind of is, nice to hold on to, uh, standard as you know, uh, mag release and the trigger guard trigger seems very standard to that as well. Um, I'll show you the rack on this. It sounds awesome. It's kind of like a two stage bolt movement there. I don't think it's a full bolt travel. This is the trigger. Um, so it, it feels satisfying when you rack it. I'll show you guys now what it sounds like when you fire it, fire it, because I think that's probably the main selling point. But what I have to say, guys, is I love it. Um, it's not super, it is expensive, but it's not super expensive compared to some gas blowbacks you're gonna get. Some people don't like the build quality. I haven't had an issue with it. Um, I do think that some of this jiggling slightly is giving the sound of the recoil or making it a lot better. So I've not got an issue. This, this handguard does feel a little bit plasticky. It's not your full polymer uh, or doesn't feel like that kind of, you know, solid polymer, but I'm putting a new hand, hand guard on it anyway with rails and a flashlight. So I'm not really that bothered. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna show you what this sounds like now. Make sure that that bar's dropped and seat the mag in. Now I've just said I don't find it hard. I'm missing the mag every time. Obviously you need to take the safety off, wrap it there. And this is what it sounds like. You can see the recoil into my shoulder. It's pretty, uh, pretty solid. And that is what it actually sounds like when it's firing. I hope that's coming through on the mic and you guys can hear it. Uh, but I love it. Um, I'm gonna be doing more chats like this, guys. If you have any questions about this, about what you can do with it, something I've said, please put it in the comments below. Um, but this is my kind of first thoughts, quick overview of the Sega 12K from Tokyo Marui. Uh, if you're thinking about it, I don't want to give you advice, you know, that you're going to regret, but I would buy it. Uh, I'd buy it again. 
Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be back with some more videos. If there are any of my replicas that you think you'd like me to talk about, uh, whether I've done a short on it and you see it and you're like, hey, I want more info, let me know below and I will get onto that and I'll make you quick videos. I'm not editing these. I'm just doing a quick chat. So uh, again, if you have any questions about me, you know, mumbling and saying weird stuff that doesn't make sense, I'd love to hear it. Uh, and I will be back pretty regularly with these videos because actually I enjoy making them. Uh, and if you are interested, you'd like to subscribe you'd like to turn on notifications I would really appreciate it you know it does help the channel grow and means that I can do this more and more uh, and hopefully kind of bring you guys some more value anyway guys have a great day wherever you are and I will see you all soon goodbye